I am Will D. I am Javier Luis. I'm Alex Polanco. I'm Apolonia Cruz. And I'm Kelly Kaboom. I am Charlie Fell. I am Emmanuel Anzule. Do you know one in four women will experience domestic violence during their lifetime? And domestic violence and abuse can happen to anyone, regardless of gender, race, or other factors. Two out of three homicide cases are females who were killed by a family member or intimate partner. As domestic violence victims, they face high rates of depression, sleep disturbances, anxiety, flashbacks, and other emotional distresses. And without help, witnesses of domestic violence are more vulnerable to become abusers themselves. Thus continuing the cycle of violence in the next generation. Hello, I'm Charles Aloma. Join the LDM Network in a safe horizon and take a step into changing these facts. So if you are or know someone that is being abused, please call the city domestic hotline at 1-800-621-4673. So that is 1-800-621-HOPE. Speak up, speak out, and make a difference. And just know that you don't have to deal with this alone. There is help. the LDM show and again uh, uh, we, you know we had a good topic earlier but now to the rest of the uh, time I want to talk about silent abusers um, a lot of people who don't know that domestic violence they think of hitting like okay it's a hitting abuse uh, and things like that uh, sometimes it's not and I call them the silent abusers the ones that are uh, mentally um, mentally abusing you, but you don't even know. Uh, it's like a salesman, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this uh, clothes right? And the salesman says so much stuff that you think the clothes look nice and you buy it. And you, you know, you go on your way and then <laughs> later on your friend tells you, what the heck did you just buy? So what happens with a silent abuser? They, and it's, and it's dangerous because they, little by little, they, uh, they have you in their, their web of de uh, deception, in other words. So what happens there is little by little, they'll start verbally abusing you without you knowing it, being somewhat of a, a okay, so, Again, thank you guys for watching. We're going to get into a real good conversation right now, and I want to know you guys' input. Uh, as you, you probably know, when, uh, you know, my younger, my younger years, it was about like, you know, when I was 21, like two years ago, um, I was, what? People look at, <laughs> no, but uh, I did a lot of criminal analyst things, so my mindset is learning about the criminal person's mind. Um, and what they wanted to do or what they were doing at that time. So I noticed a lot of people have silent abusers and they don't even know it, which is kind of uh, funny because it's like the old pimps, how they used to slowly get you into the game. And then when you, don't, when you realize and you woke up, hey, now I'm a hooker. I didn't even know this. When this happened, that's what they do. Little by little. Some of the things they do is they inject into your lives without you wanting them there. Uh, if you're with your, oh, I'm, uh, my girls uh, and myself are going to go and eat something. Okay, cool. What time we leave? What time? Didn't I just say me and my girls? Um, oh, okay. Let me see if, you know. Why? Why can I come? We're a couple. They they won't mind, and then they start injecting themselves. That's another. That's one sign. Be a silent abuser. Um, they, either that, or they just uh, uh so obsessed. They don't, and that's another scary thing. If they obsess with you so much that they don't want to leave your sight. But silent abusers want to be in there as much as possible. Um. Of course, if someone's on the phone 
automatically you're going to say, oh, who was that? Oh, who's this on the phone? You tell them, that's it, you go on your way. Some of them will be like, oh, okay, now sit there. So what are you guys talking about? Where's she at? What's she doing? What, you know, oh. I ask, like, who's that? Oh, cool. I know them? No? Okay. Like so, or sometimes my wife be like, uh, you asked me who's that, but if I tell you, you ain't going to know who it is anyway. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know. I'm, I'm nosy that way. Uh, and, and, and also I'm nosy that way for when people be like, oh, you know she was talking to something. Yeah, I do because she told me. You know what I'm saying? So get out of our business. <laughs> but uh, abusers do that. Silent abusers, they'll want to know who your phone. Uh, the phone will ring. They want to pick it up. You know, besides the jealous, that part of a jealousy, that's a little bit of the jealousy, but it's more going towards the abusing. So you want to watch that. Um, so, hey, uh, Cheryl, um, Evie, Steve, just got on. How y'all doing, guys? So, uh, sign of abusers and what are they? So that's one of them. Want to take your phone at all times. Want to know who you're speaking to. Besides being uh, uh, so obsessed with you, that's a sign that they are silent abusers. Because little by little, they want to start pushing that. And they want to start pushing it. And it could lead to other abuse. So, but uh, we're speaking about the silent abusers. If you guys know any information of it or has been part of it, let me know. Or you know someone that as I'm telling you the clues, we're like, wait a minute, that sounds like my girlfriend, and I always knew her man does that, and I re didn't realize it. It's called silent abusers. Um, that's, that's my definition. I, it's not, I'm not saying that's what they call it, but I call it the silent abuser because they silently starting to abuse you without you even noticing and going and going into the teapot pops, and they start going to escalating to a higher level of abusers. So um, I want to help people out to stop it before it starts. Because I hear so many people helping out when it already started. So I thought, you know what, let me do this little one segment to help before it starts, if that makes any sense. Um, so like one of the things are the phones. Uh, when the, this, I'm talking about abusing as a man, ab silent abusing a female. Because there are females that silent, silent abuse a man. But... Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the male side of it first. So uh, one of the things is, I can't see the comments. Because one of the things is, uh, is the telephones. The next thing, I, uh, I'm sorry, the friends. The second thing is the telephones. The next thing is, a lot of people say it's sweet when a woman or a man dresses the guy, uh, the person, I think it's sweet. Oh, honey, look, I brought you this shirt. Oh, honey, I look, I brought you this pants. Uh, I do it too. I buy, sometimes I see this nice, sexy clothes. I, but my wife, like, I'm a little too sexy sometimes, you know. Um, but, you see, I, I, I buy it because I know she likes it and the way she looks. But the silent abuser will buy you something where it it's, uh, benefits them in the long run, if you know what I mean. They want to cover you up, you up or they want to do want to do something. They want to give you clothes that you don't really, really, really want, you know? But, oh, hi, Eileen. Oh, Eileen. Yes, yes, Eileen's in, in his house. Uh, how are we doing? So, uh, Eileen and, and everybody else, we're talking about silent abusers. Um, if you could, it's, we should try to get one of my friends on the line, which is Tanya Carrion. She might spread a little... Uh, a light on this, um, if possible. But silent abusers are the, to me, the most deadliest ones besides physical abusers and verbal abusers. Because silent abusers is the beginning of it, and without you knowing, bam, they became your abuser. They're right? They, you know, they want to creep it in. You know what I'm saying? They don't like. Uh, it's like that. Too fake, you didn't know you were going to have because you didn't ever knew you had a cavity. And all of a sudden, the next day, bam, ah, my tooth. That's basically what it is. Um, so I'm trying to give you little hints of, of it um, so you can understand it. So the next one you want to watch is the way they speak, the way they speak to you. 
a lot of them start off with the downgrading of you. You know, with the, if you're talking to your friends and the female would say something like, uh, the sky is blue and everything, and then here comes the female. Yeah, but it's a mix of white. Ah, you don't know what you're talking about. That's a little bit of, uh, of abuse, I hope you guys know. Um, I'm not trying to be one of the millenniums that everything is it's a touchy thing, and that word, help, no, but that is a sign of a silent abuser because they're already trying to downgrade you without saying it out loud. All they could have said was, I didn't know that. I don't think that's right. Something in that sort of uh, thing. But saying, no, you don't know what you're talking about, go over there, is just trying to say that you're not on my level. That's what that means. So I hope you know that. Um, so if anybody says, no, that's not what it means, talk to me. Let me know. Uh, there are, uh, uh, Apollonia said, there are, are also people out there who act like they are being abused, and it turns out that they are the abuser which is true. That was one of the other signs I was going to say after this one is the reflection. They reflect right back on you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm reading somebody. Uh, I have to go back. Um, Eileen said, yeah, blame you, which is the reflection, what I was just talking about, reflect. And then she said, my daughters went, uh, went tried, tried that at her teenage years which is the teenage years are the ones where they get a lot of the silent abusers without even knowing it. I hope you guys know. That is the, uh, the uh, vulnerable years. Like you think, oh, of course, they're small, they three, four years old. That's the vulnerable stage. That's the vulnerable stage of learning bad habits and learning your brain. When you become a teenager, it's learning where to fit in as a teenager and an adult. So that's when the abusers silently come in. So those are where you want to really watch it. Uh, so it is true. That's where uh, they come in a lot, and they try to do that a lot. So one of the things is what I was just saying, the reflection. They will reflect everything you say upon you. You know, you start crying for, for a word they said, they'll probably say, oh, why are you crying? You know, it's not like it's, it's you, it's me, you, you know. You just came in front of my friends and said, there's clouds as well, like trying to embarrass me in front of my friends. So now they're reflecting it like it was you that was the bad person. No, you were just trying to get into a conversation with him and his friends so they can see that you eyes are as one. But the silent abuser does not like that. Hello, uh, Annie, Annie Rose Perez. So a lot of the silent abusers do that. Um, they will reflect everything um, and reflect it back at you. That's the same as an abuser. Like a physical abuser would do the same thing. You bring it on yourself. You see what I'm saying? You know, I would not have to slap you if you would have not said that. It's a reflection, but that's a more of aggressive um, reflection than a silent abuser. We're speaking of the silent abuser at the moment, uh, the ones that are mentally abusing a female and the female doesn't even really realize it. Okay. The next one that you want to watch for with your friends and your family is if they were doing something all the time, like hanging with you. Hang I know when you get a boyfriend or a girlfriend, it slows down a little of where you go, but when they start not hanging or doing a family affair thing. Like let's say uh, every, every weekend, let's say, you with your family uh, hanging out, uh, Doing like the uh, what's that um, uh, blues? What's that that thing that we be watching? That show that they they hanging out every Sunday. Blue bloods. Blue bloods. They, every Sunday they have a family day. But now all of a sudden, one of the one of the sisters or brothers or whoever s starts little by little not coming. That's a sign of a silent abuser because little by little they push you away from their family, um, from your family. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go here. Let's go there. Um, but Sundays, we always go to this place. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to go there. We're going to go. Because as a silent abuser, they're afraid to have you have them mingle with their families because they 
families and friends will notice and they will try to, to get them away from them. And that's why they're scared to have any of their people around family or friends. That's why when you say, I'm going to go out with my girlfriends, they inject themselves in there because they're afraid of what the person is going to say. It's something like a cheat that knows that person knew they cheated, so they don't want you around that person because they were like, oh my God, he's going to, he or she is going to tell that they seen me, you know, so they make sure you're not with that person. It's a similar situation with a silent abuser. Keep you away from the family because they're scared that the family notice something and they're going to push you away, if that makes any sense. Oh, hello, Janet. How are we doing? Uh, again, I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to get to your comments, but I got to switch from the live comments to my watch party comments. So it takes me a moment. Oh, hello, Annette. And then uh, Ali said, starts with downgrading them, then pushing, and then hitting. Exactly. Uh, when, I, when I first started the conversation about it, the first thing on my list was the downgrading. Um, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the four ones that, in case you guys just got on, we're speaking of the silent abuser, which is the most dangerous abuser to me. Um, I'm not saying it is. Statistically, maybe people don't even understand what a silent abuser is. But to me, they're the most dangerous because if you do not know they are that, they're going to... Uh, uh, move on up to other things and by and you won't even notice because it's too late because they're so silent that they did it so one of the things is downgrading anytime they downgraded just like the the uh, example i said was when if i'm speaking to a bunch of guys and i'm saying the sky is blue and then here comes my girlfriend saying yeah but sometimes it has clouds and i say you don't know what you're talking about go over there that's downgrading as much as you don't know but i've already told you just by not saying it saying you stupid you don't belong in my conversation, you're not at my level, move over there. That's basically what I said with those words. But I was silently saying it, little by little. Okay. The second one is the, uh, the, uh, the inserting themselves into your everyday lives with your friends, your families, and stuff like that. They always want to be there, but they don't want to be around you when there's no one else around. You know what I'm saying? That that's basically a silent abuser and also one that wants to pretend like the whole family is good you know so those are the ones you want to watch for the third uh that we were talking about what was the third on the list manipulators, manipulators. uh they will manipulate you as much as possible to make it look like they are the victims and they are not the victim they're the abuser um they will say to you uh just with the example about you came out with the clouds when you get home they were like, listen, I'm sorry I had to say it to you like that, but, you know, you embarrassed me in front of my friends, and it was like, you know, I, like, now they want to make it themselves. No. Silent abuser. It's not a, that was not about, you didn't have to scream and yell like that. No nope, time soon. Okay? Those are silent abusers. Uh, and a lot of them, the next one is, a lot of them will not only downgrade you, but make you look stupid in front of everyone else. You know, and make it, yeah, you say something, oh, really? Oh, I didn't know about that. Why I didn't know about that? All right, we'll talk about this later. Making you look like a bad person in front of everybody. That is a no-no. Not even in, in marriage you should do that. If your wife or your husband said something that you were like, well, I didn't know about that. You do the political thing, smile and go, ha, ha. <laughs> Where the people will understand it. And then when you get home, it is all totally different. You know what I'm saying? Do the political thing, shake the hands, you know, kiss the babies. <laughs> or do that. Um, don't we have a thing? Because you got it fed up. It's not a sign of an abuser. But that's what I was going to say. But that can be a sign of abuser. When you start, ha that's what I'm, I'm going towards. When you're having fun with your friends, what does the silent abuser do? The silent abuser starts coming out with stories that you have to go home. They come and get you and take you out of a party and saying, oh, we have to, oh, the kid is, is this, and, the, and or something they look for an excuse so you can get out of that uh, happiness, in other words, and bring you into the sadness. Yeah. So Apollonia said, 
these biatches who throw shades then use uh, reverse psychology when you read them back, which is true. But what happens with that is the silent abuser makes it so good that you wind up saying, yeah, maybe it is me. Okay? And then you go down. The next thing, oh, okay, Janet said, they must manipulate every situation by saying things like, do this for us, for the family, laugh out loud. You, yep, that is so true. That's what I'm about to say. The next thing they do is they try to make it a unilized thing. They want to make it a group thing. I only do this for us. The only reason why I screamed at you because I didn't want you to be looking all, you know, dumb in front of everybody. That's why I, I, I yelled because I, I was trying to help you, help us. Listen, you're not selling a car, okay? So you ain't help, helping me help you. This is not business. So a lot of the times the abusers do that, and that's what teased me off about them, and I see it a lot. Um, I think those bastards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you believe those bastards, WTF, you know? <laughs> Um, but it's because that's your weakness. And that's why I'm saying about silent abuser, because they're so silent that they use everything. And they are salesmen. They are the country, what I call the best southern salesmen out there. You ever hear a southern salesman? You know? You be like, wow, their accent and everything makes you want to buy the car, and you wasn't even there for a car. You were just trying to return something to them, and you wind up leaving with a car. That's how good a salesman they are. They sell you the broken dreams and the broken promises. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see him. What's up, Frankie? The Rizzo right there. But uh, um, they sell you these broken dreams to abuse you later on. Um, and that's what happens a lot of times. And then another thing they do say is when they're trying to say they don't want you. They don't really need, they don't need you. That's why we need to do this together, alone. It's us against them. That's an abuse talk. I hope you know that. This is not business. If I'm a business partner, I'll be like, listen, it's us against them. We need to make this business up there and make it good. That's understandable. But when it's in a relationship, it's no such thing as us against them. And that's what a lot of abusers silently do to make the person feel like, their family around them, love them, or don't want to be with them, so they can grab them and keep hold of them. So when you start hearing, oh, don't, ah, your kid don't want to see you, then don't go see them. Oh, your parents don't love you, then don't worry about them. They old anyway. You don't need to see them. It's us against them. They don't understand us. They don't understand our relationship. That's why they mad, because we have a relationship they want. They always wanted that type of relationship. If, if that strike any keys? Or oh, that strike any nerves? Because it sounds like that abuser. Because I hear it a lot. I've seen it a lot. Um, uh, and the only reason why I became an expert in um, criminal analyst and things like that is because I've seen it a lot. I had to be there with them. I, I even been in front of uh, jail cells while they were speaking. And they all sound the same. You know? It's just like a crackhead. You know a crackhead by seeing them because they all do the same things. You know what I'm saying? You look at them and be like, you're taking drugs again, right? Nah. Nah, Papi, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't take no drugs. They all do the same. That, that's the one that's not taking no more drugs because every time you say they're not taking drugs, they don't even touch where they're taking the drugs at. Notice them. I, I don't think, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, no, any drug person, I don't do no more drugs. I don't know what you're talking about. And then they start touching places where they do the drugs at. It's common. The abusers do the same thing. It's like they, they go to abuser school 101. You know what I'm saying? They have a pattern. They have that pattern, but a lot of people don't see it because they're so blind that they wanted the love that they don't see the silent abuser moving in. And that's what's the hardest part. And I've seen it a couple of times this uh, couple of months, and I couldn't stay shut anymore. So that's why I'm doing this uh, segment to let you guys know. Silent abusers are the most deadliest ones because they turn into physical and they turn into verbal and everything else. So watch that. If they're telling you that they shouldn't, that, 
a person does not understand your relationship, that's an uh, that's a, a abuse right there. But there are circumstances like if your friends are trying to take you out and hang out, and you're like, "Nah, I'm I'm, I'm married now. I want to stay home with my kids and stuff." Oh no, come on! And then those are friends that they don't have that type of relationship, and they're trying to destroy your relationship. That's a total different. It, and it's similar, but those are friendship abusers. That's what I call friendship abusers. They want to abuse your life to try to destroy what you have. Um, same thing with uh, with kids. Oh, where you going? Oh, I'm on the ballet. Or I'm going to and I'm, you know, they 13, 14 years old, but they want to do, oh, you going there? Come on, man, you can go there anytime. You can do that. Those are friendship abusers. They're trying to destroy your life because they don't have it. Difference. That's different abusers. I can sit here all day and talk about all type of abusers, but she we're talking. Says, denial keeps you with him because she wants to work and feel bad. Yep. You stay hoping to change them and fix them. That was what I was going to say. The whole thing is you cannot change abuser. Um, the comment section, a couple weeks ago, they had, uh, oh, was it last month? Or the first season, I think it was, they were talking about art, uh, that they had a, a book writer who was talking about it. How you know that, um, matter of fact, the book is probably somewhere there. Um, artistic, uh, what, how do you call her? Um, no, they, they, she had a, a good person on that was talking about how you know if you are uh, having uh, those type of abusers on that they are uh, manipulated and all that stuff, which is true. Um, you have to watch that and watch it well, because abusers are there, the silent abusers are there, and I'm seeing it a lot. And the funny problem, and the pr not the funny problem, not the ha 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 problem, is just like the ghetto, while we say funny problem when it means it's a hard issue. Um, the hard issue is you cannot tell the abuser they were being abused because in their mind, abuse is hitting. You understand? Does that make any sense? It's a... Uh, they think it's Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Apollonia said, I am stuck. I'm um, Charles. I am stubborn like you. It won't work uh, on us. Yeah. Exactly. It would not work on us because we have a strong mind. And one thing that we do know is ourself. We... We don't need, like a lot of people say, I don't need nobody. I do it on my own. But the silent abuser knows your weakness and comes in and grabs it. What I say is, I do need, because we're human. We do need people with us. We do need a mate. You know what I'm saying? We're human. Do we want one? Yes. Do we really need it? Need it? No. We can live if we don't have one. So when you put that in your mind, I would like mate I would like a person to hug I would like a person when I'm home to be there yes do I need it no get a puppy you know what I'm saying then that's how you you would not get so uh, manipulated if you know your 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 worth in other words not not your worth so much that you think you all that and you can't go with nobody you can't be I'm talking about know that you you are gonna change not for the worse. So if you are being silent abused, and I said some of these things that said he does, uh, Charles don't know what he's talking about. He, he does it, but it doesn't sound like him, him. He, he, he's, his, our situation is different. You're a silent abused victim already. Denial. Yep. If you just said to yourself, uh, he does that, but our situation is different. You're in denial. You are a silent abused victim. Just going to say that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but this year, I'm not holding back. I'm saying exactly what it is, and this is how it's, it's going to be. Now, I do know people that are, are that, but I'm not going to say it because of one thing. When you are in denial and you try to explain to them, you will uh, destroy your friendship, your things, but then that's the borderline. Do you let it go or do you say something? That's hard for the ones that are looking in because they, they don't want to hear it, especially when they're full-grown, uh, full you know what I mean, full-blown abused. They, they are getting physically abused. They don't want to hear you. They're perfect, you know. Uh, they always want to say, especially when you're full-blown uh, abused, 
and poor steps and closet doors. They always get the blame. You know what I'm saying? I fell down the steps. I got hit with the closet door. Or, you know, I was running too fast. Like, you know, got nothing. To... We heard it all. So if you are being abused, please, don't, don't come up to me with these things because I heard it all. You know? And I've seen it. Physical evidence, a door, certain um, body parts, they were injured. Certain body parts, they won't. You fall down the steps, again, certain body parts, they were injured, stuff like that. You know? It's fall, <laughs> fall on deaf ears. Yep. It falls on deaf ears correctly. Um, so I think we're running out of time. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. We're running out of time. I was looking at the time. But it, it was great that you guys let me in your homes and everything to speak about this. But again, tread lightly when you're trying to show the person that they are being become a silent victim. Um, because some of them don't even know they are. Because that's how good the abusers are. Um, so signs, if they manipulate it, they don't let you uh, visit family and friends, they don't let you hardly do stuff, they want to inject themselves into everything you're doing. Uh, you know, it's great to do things together. Like me and my wife, we run this thing together. She's my engineer right now. She's the one, you know, telling me stuff. We do this, but she does her own stuff. Sometimes she goes to Queens and she goes with her friends and I'll stay home. We got separate lives as as well. So when they eject themselves in everything you do, just to be the center of attention, that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch that. When they not that's what it was on the comment section. Check that out. Uh, last first season they were talking about how do you know you're you're with a narcissist, uh, narcissist, narcissistic person, a narcissistic person. <laughs> Sorry about that, you know. And, and it's funny how I'm speaking to you clearly with a sore throat. That's how, that's how teed off this conversation gets me, that I want to make sure I uh, speak to you about this. Um, so watch, watch that if they eject yourself. Watch if they always put the blame on you afterwards. Watch if they try to embarrass you in front of your friends. Um, then they, you know that those are the kind of... Uh, silent abusers and if you are being silent abused leave before it's too late um especially if they trying to push you away from friends that been there since day one or your family that's a family because i can say they pushing you away from family but some families are not really families you know what i mean you were like you can push me away from them i never hang out with them anyway you know what i'm saying <laughs> but like you know uh, oh, and the, the other one is your kids, too. Watch that. If you see the way they act with your kids uh, a certain way or they tell you how to act negative towards your kids, silent abuser. So, hey, with that said, um, I hope you guys learned something today as much as possible. Uh, I know I'm always a jolly and, and joking around person. Um, Anna Rose said... Annie Rose said, love the topics, and uh, thank you. You are welcome as much as possible. Anybody else, uh, if you want to hear me speak about something, uh, let us know. Inbox us or even comment, hey, I would love to hear a topic of this and this and that. If, right, if I'm not a uh, semi-expert or expert in that conversation, I will research it or try to bring someone in that can help me out a little bit on that. Um, but at this moment, what I, this is part of my expertise as a criminal analyst, not as abuser, but I learned by watching them and some of the stuff I learned by Tanya uh, Carry On, which is the Carry On movement, as I hear people's stories, and by uh, Sonia, um, which is Survivor I Am. These are the places that I go to that they think I'm not listening and watching, but I'm listening and watch, and then the next year I listen and watch, and some of the stories are the same. But the one thing that is always the same, those persons never knew that they were silent abuse victims before anything. They never even seen it coming. So, but the one thing you will see us come is next week, next Thursday, on 6 p.m., you will definitely will see. 
Uh, Janet, last conversation. Thanks, Charles, for addressing this topic. It is so important for people to know and understand the different forms of domestic violence and abuse. You guys are welcome, and uh, uh, I am very, very sorry if I struck a nerve and uh, memory for the ones that were abused and got away from it, but sometimes you have to remember so you won't be abused again. Hey, this is Charles Aloma, and this is the LDM Show, and the one thing you're always going to know is that I'll be here every week.